Jaguini. I am myself a CML patient uh, since 2002. And uh, since then, I experienced uh, different challenges as treatment access, uh, care centralization, bureaucracy, stigma, lack of uh, blood uh, uh, test, uh, PCR test, I mean, and psychological support. And all these reasons motivated me to create AML Association uh, based in, in, in Marrakesh, Morocco, dedicated to support and educate CML patients and families. And in 2008, I joined uh, CML Advocate Network uh, and the global uh, patient community to represent African Middle East region and help to understand the local needs. And my only vaca uh, vocation uh, consists to raise awareness and reduce the care gaps, engage also with all stakeholders uh, and advocate for better access. Actually, the results didn't surprise me uh, because we are experiencing this uh, every day with our patients uh, in the Middle East and Africa region. Uh, in general, in low and middle income countries, uh, patients are often viewed as objects of, of, of care and in the best cases, uh, unserved clients in the private clinics. Uh, and also doctors are often viewed as God, as infallible, and a patient may not feel comfortable asking, you know, questions about how to manage treatment and the side effects, uh, their fears also, doubts and, and psychological effects. And the majority of, of doctors uh, complain about lack of, of time, as they may uh, see more than 60 a patient a day. And sometimes a patient does not receive, you know, enough information or clear information about their treatment, including, for example, how, how to take their medi medication, how to uh, identify also uh, short-term versus, for example, persistent uh, side uh, effects and toxicity of treatment, and what to do if they experience uh, severe uh, side effects. Uh, uh, we have also some bad experiences with patients. Some patients may not take their medication as, as uh, prescribed uh, by their doctor and may hide the truth uh, uh, about their side effect to uh, uh, avoid being switched to a more expensive or available uh, treatment in the country. And also we have other patients may pretend to take their medication, but the reality is something else and they can't uh, achieve the deep molecular response or may develop uh, resistance of, of, of treatment. Also in my region, uh, patients may suffer from stigma. They need more time to understand the treatment and the uh, you know, side effects. They are also uh, suffering from illiteracy and poverty and lack of uh, health insurance and centralized uh, care. They have to, to travel to see doctor many times uh, and other, uh, you know, repercussion of uh, uh, cancer on their lives and uh, quality of life. And sometimes uh, doctors and patients may, may not speak the same language, uh, leading to misunderstanding. Uh, for example, if a, a doctor says it is uh, maybe be careful, just saying this, uh, this sentence, be, be careful, the patient may interpret uh, this as it's critical, maybe I will die. And this is a big uh, difference in what doctors perceive it as uh, concerns and real impact of side effects. CML is now considered a chronic disease and patients uh, require a close uh, relationship with their doctor to discuss treatment and side effect management. And patients uh, need reassurance from their doctor and both patients and doctor need to share decision about treatment. This is uh, the most important thing. I, I mean, education is key for both patients and physicians. Uh, patients with CML require a, a, a multidisciplinary approach to their care. 
and education for sure is a, 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 an important component of uh, of this approach. Patients need to to understand their diagnosis and the treatment uh, options and potential uh, side effects. As I said before, we have some toxicity about side effects and patients may uh, hide the, uh, the side effects and the, the toxicity or uh, uh, not taking their medication. They also need to, to know how to manage uh, their symptoms and when to seek medical uh, attention and information because sometimes they are lost, they, they don't have any, uh, any choice and they don't have any information. I think education is the key, and education for both patient and physician. And physicians need to provide also clear information to their patients and encourage them to ask questions according to their education, because we have a, a, a huge uh, and important rate of illiteracy and people can't understand the language of of physician. Maybe a doctor needs to provide this clear information and uh, uh, also according to their uh, uh, education level and uh, also cultural setting uh, because of stigma. And patients should be encouraged to keep uh, a diary of, of their uh, treatment and uh, uh, symptoms and side effects which can help physician uh, adjust uh, their treatment plan. For example, if they have uh, side effects, we can manage doses and, and so on. I, I, I am a dreamer. <laughs> I, I have a lot of things, uh, but I believe that shared decision, decision make, making between uh, healthcare physician and patients is essential in the same treatment because now we have many generation of treatment and we, we need to take the decision, you know, uh, patients and physician, uh, they are partner in, in, in treatment and patients should be involved in the treatment process and be treated as partner in their care. For example, I will share with my the doctor, will share with uh, his uh, or her uh, uh, patient, uh, you know, all the treatment and option and talk about side effects and talk also about fears, about doubts, about also uh, uh, doses and uh, uh, what's happened because we have many different ways how to think because uh, doctor think that the patient is thinking uh, uh, like himself, but it's wrong, it's totally different. And uh, I think the success of CML treatments depends on a high degree of patient involvement and motivation, the motivation also, as well as strong collaboration between, uh, I think, patients and, and, and doctors. Thank you.